In this video from Learn Electrics, we will answer a question that's cropped up several times recently. What is this new buzzword prosumer? And just what is PEI? A later video will look in depth at safety and functional requirements, technical issues and earthing arrangements. But this video is an overview to explain some of the terms that are used. This is a new part for Amendment 2 of the Wiring Regulations, Part 8, and for some reason it starts with Chapter 82. Chapter 82 begins on page 351 and its full title is Prosumers Low Voltage Electrical Installations. And this is abbreviated to PEI. This is a portmanteau or blending of the words producer and consumer of electricity. A prosumer electrical installation can take electricity from the public network, generate its own energy, use its own energy for its own loads, store that energy, feed electricity into the public network and in certain installations work in island mode or off-grid as you might say. So just what is a PEI? It's a set of electrical equipment that performs several functions as listed here. It can supply its own energy and it can supply electrical energy to the public network by managing its own local generators such as solar photovoltaic systems and wind power. A PEI can be a consumer of electricity too, household appliances, TVs, cookers, lighting, electric motors, heaters, showers, lifts and anything that's plugged into a socket the list is endless. We also need some sort of distribution system to allow energy to flow between parts of the PEI system and these will be wiring systems, distribution panels and so on. And to make sure that all this is happening as required by the owner of the system and in the most efficient way there is an electrical energy management system shortened to EEMS. Shown here is an example of a PEI system and this drawing will be found in the wiring regulations. I've redrawn the previous slide here as I visualise the system. You can see the connection to the public supply and the common distribution system. There are several groups of coloured boxes and coloured arrows. Any green arrow is putting energy into the system and red arrows are taking it from the system. All this transfer of energy can be monitored and controlled by the EEMS unit in yellow. The green blocks produce or supply electricity, whilst the orange blocks consume energy. The mauve blocks both produce and consume energy. The storage batteries can charge up from the solar panels during the day as consumers of power and then release this back into the system as suppliers during the hours of darkness. An electric vehicle will consume energy when being driven and if it needs charging. But some vehicles can also supply electricity from their own batteries. Hybrid cars can do this by using energy recovery systems when braking, etc. There are three types of prosumer installation that are recognised. The first of these is the individual type. Here, each property or electrical installation will manage and control its own system. Think of an independent house with its own solar panels and storage batteries that are used just for its own purposes. On sunny days, if the household loads are less than that being generated and the storage system is topped up, the surplus can be diverted to the public supply. The PEI system is acting as a producer. At night, when the household demand is high, the installation becomes a consumer. To begin with, the storage systems can supply the household loads, the TV, the cooker, shower, etc until a point is reached where electricity is needed from the public supply. The house next door may also be a prosumer installation too, but they work independently of each other and do not directly share energy between themselves. Then there is the collective type of system, a group of installations that are ordinarily separate but will all share a common local generator and storage facility. This might be a block of flats or a small community where they have wind and solar power being generated, perhaps on the roof of the flats 
that will supply their own cheaper self-generated electricity to them as required. The management system can monitor, control and record their energy consumption and will allow a supply from the public network when needed as the community sources dwindle. Note that with the collective type of installation, none of the properties have their own independent means of generating electricity and none have their own energy storage facility. It all comes from a common collective source. In a shared type of system, each property or installation can generate and store its own electricity to feed its own loads. It can pass energy to the public network and take energy from it. In addition, it can share its self-generated electricity with other users in a pre-agreed group. This might again be some sort of small community of dwellings, but here the generation and storage is all in their own property, all under their own control. There is no central communal generation system and no central storage. Each is fully independent if they need to be. Which brings us to another new phrase, island mode. We may have three houses as shown here that are all part of a shared mode system. Each property has the ability to detach itself from the common distribution system and the public supply. The term island mode is very appropriate. It defines this mode exactly. The installation owner can detach themselves totally from all sources of electricity except those that they generate themselves. This is island mode, or some may view it as being like off-grid. They have made themselves an island from the shared energy and from the public grid. Note that the switching off, the detaching process, must be double pole. Line and neutral contacts must both be opened to go into island mode. And that is a brief overview of a prosumer electrical installation, a PEI, and we hope that you found it useful. In a later video, we will go into detail about just what is involved with installing these systems, safety, earthing, and so on. Thank you for watching this video. It is very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos, and remember to click on Notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos, and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget, that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel, don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again very soon.